Today, we're gonna talk about some tips that can help you to make sure that you don't overdose on Tylenol when you're taking medications that contain Tylenol. In a previous YouTube, I encourage you to go back and review it. I talked about that the daily dose of Tylenol that you don't want to exceed is 3,000 milligrams of Tylenol. So that would be six extra strength Tylenols. So Tylenol comes in three strengths, 325 milligrams and 500 milligrams, which is extra strength. You can also have Tylenol arthritis or extended release, which is 650 milligrams. So you need to look on the package of medications and make sure that you know how much Tylenol is in it so that you can determine how many tablets you can take and not exceed 3,000 milligrams in a day. So when we look at opioids or narcotics, pain relievers, we want to make sure that you calculate how much Tylenol is in those medications so that you don't overdose. Like a common one is Tylenol with codeine or Tylenol number three, and it has 300 milligrams of Tylenol. Looking at some other opioids, Ultraset has 325 milligrams of Tylenol, and then Vicodin hydrocodone, which is called, is generic, has 325 milligrams. So if your doctor were to have you taking that three or four or five times, six times a day, say you take six of these a day, you have to multiply 325 by six to know what is your daily dose of Tylenol that you are taking from your pain medication and make sure you stay below that 3,000 milligrams. Looking at oxycodone, which is also called Percocet, it has 325 milligrams of oxycodone when you take the five milligram tablets. Now, of course, hydrocodone and oxycodone comes in different strengths, you know, 5, 7.5, 10. But this is just letting you know that they all have about 325 milligrams of Tylenol in them. So why do we care about this? We care because too much Tylenol can cause kidney and liver damage. So if you're having symptoms of uh, pain in your right abdomen, or you are urinating less than normal, and you know that you've been taking medications with Tylenol, this may be giving you a warning sign that you are taking too much Tylenol. You may have some nausea, vomiting, and you wanna think about how much Tylenol are you taking? Why is this important? Because if we look at research and studies, we know that in a year, our average, you have about 56,000 emergency room visits due to people taking too much Tylenol. That has resulted in usually about 26,000 hospitalizations a year and about 458 to 500 deaths each year from Tylenol. So if you wanna know why I keep talking about Tylenol, because this is preventable and I wanna make sure that you have pain relief, but you do it safely. And that when you go to your medicine cabinet, you look at your medications and make sure that you're monitoring the amount of Tylenol in them so that you don't overdose. Now, please subscribe to the YouTube below and share this with a friend.